Right, I'm just doing a quickie for anybody who's got a bit of a naysayer about the 12-step sequence that I've created. Now you can see here, this is the 12-step sequence. And you can see it's quite smooth. I mean, I can't, I haven't, I haven't programmed into this one the ability to stop it. But you can see that that's smooth, isn't it? And it's changing each click. And it's the same amount as well. Yeah, that's the 12 step sequence and that's the reason why brushless DC is kind of blurring line between brushless DC and AC synthesis because that, even though that's only a, th um, a standard three coil motor, that's got 12 steps, right? And if you look at it, look how slowly it's turning, okay? And I've got the torque right down, you can see it's it's mainly space, okay. And as you can see, that's turning pretty slowly, isn't it? Now that's a seven pole motor, okay. Okay, I'll just leave it. That's a seven pole motor, it just vibrates a little bit. I just put a finger on it just to try and stop it from vibrating. Okay. Let's raise the speed and then it's smoother. See? Okay. But obviously, I mean, <laughs> now the reason why it's kicking like that is because of the sequencer. But look, now, exactly how slow do you want a wheel to go? Because that, remember, that's the actual shaft of the motor. Now this is a this is a four pole. Uh, this is a seven um, a seven rotation. So it's seven electrical rotations for one physical one, which is the reason why we've got seven red pieces of tape on it. So seven magnets, right? Now if you think about it, right, that's seven to one. Okay, obviously. Now, I believe a Tesla uses a gear ratio of 10 to 1 in the gearbox and I believe that the motors have 10 um, 10 electrical to physical so that's 100 to 1 right so stepping like that can you imagine how slowly the wheel would turn <laughs> basically it would be about 10 times slower than that right that's the wheel on the ground which means you'd be inching along wouldn't you yeah so, whilst people crow about AC synthesis being the way forward and all that sort of stuff, you think about it, why? You don't need that kind of control. You're not moving forward at such a slow speed that you really need AC synthesis to make it so that you can control it at that speed. Now, okay, fair play. That is clocking, isn't it? You think about it, right? In a standard car, you have a clutch, and that has springs on the clutch, right? And that's basically to um, so that when you use the clutch, that um, it stops the uh, um, latching of the clutch. It's just kind of a damper between uh, the uh, gearbox and the engine, so that when you connect them, it will take some of the uh, vibration away of the kick. But if you look at that, that's reasonably smooth. If you were actually going forward in a car, okay, it would feel quite smooth. Right, relatively smooth. Okay, this it sticks a little bit there because of the video. It's actually not. It, it is running reasonably smoothly, as you can see. Yeah. Now I can turn that down even more, but it's just that. Uh, in fact, I probably will. Let's let's do it. Let's turn it right down. Okay. So that, if you were in a car, you may well be able to feel that. Okay. Right? Now, you think about it. If you're reversing, okay, because that's when you need the control when you're doing parking manoeuvres and stuff. That wheel, that's not the car wheel, of course. That's at the, that's at the engine. You've then got another 10 to 1 ratio. So that wheel, you know, <laughs> you, you may, you know, you'd only just see the car moving. 